What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. And today, I will be talking about the shy. I will be talking about your boy, Brandon, and what's next for Brandon now. Now, we all know that your boy, Brandon, got caught up what Ronnie's ass, and then Kevin shot Ronnie. But Brandon's involved in it. Brandon's involved in it. And ever since that night, all bad things has happened for Brandon. So he's he done got kicked out of his, his uh, apartment with his girl. Um, he took the gun that Kevin had, hid it under the bed at his mom's house, and her boyfriend found the gun, and he said the gun is gone. And that, that kind of pissed me off. I mean, he... he he brought the gun in and dude just took the gun and wouldn't try to give it back to him. I know that had to piss him off. That had to piss Brandon off. But he loses the gun. He got to go back, talk to Rick, and then everybody's asking, what the hell is Rick planning with Brandon? Rick, he knows Brandon has this good credit, or at least that's what Brandon tells him. Uh, some people think that he's going to make Brandon buy uh, a business some type of uh, another stash house or whatever, or do something. They're going to use bread in some way, somehow. But besides all that, it just seemed like it's going all downhill for Brandon. And another thing, and I will talk about this later, your girl Jerrica, how she just told her friends about Brandon without thinking. So I will make a separate video talking about that. But I just want to get the feedback from the fans of the show on what they think is next for him. Because he started out so good. And I, and I talked about this earlier in the season. How he's he starting out good. But he got a lot of demons coming his way. He's trying to do good. But he got a lot of negative energy pulling him back into that negative environment. So Jerrica, she was there to, to give him all the advice in the world. But is she willing to be there for him during his rough times? Yeah, his brother was killed. And Brandon went out and did something stupid. But he didn't shoot Ronnie. And that's probably what Jerrica's thinking, that he shot Ronnie. Or he shot whoever. She don't know who it is, but I'm pretty sure she thinks he shot somebody. She seen the blood. But Brandon didn't do this. You know what I'm saying? He actually didn't do it. But he's still caught up in it. He's still caught up in the mess, in the aftermath. So we know in this next episode, if you've seen the trailer, that Brandon and, Ke no, Brandon and Ronnie see each other. They actually see each other in this next episode. So hopefully, at, when it's all said and done, I hope they can just work this out and just talk it out and squash it. Uh, that's what Ronnie was trying to do. He just wanted to squash it. And I think he was going to apologize. I think Ronnie really wanted to squash it. He felt bad for killing Cookie. We all know was, he, he, he messed up by killing that kid. We know he did. But at least Ronnie he stood up as a man and tried to talk to Brandon face to face with no guns or nothing. He was going to actually try to talk it out. I do give him credit for that. But at the same time, Brandon is he's caught up with this red character. And if he's caught up with red, that means he's going to be caught up with Trice. You know what I'm saying? And this is all the hood shit that Jericho was talking about. That's going to come back and blow up right in his face. Now, what about his job? How is this going to affect his job? Now he got cops. Remember, he got the cop coming there for a reservation. What if this cop trying to keep blackmailing uh, Brandon or something. I mean, we don't know. I mean, it's just getting crazy for him because he's going through so much. I mean, he was already worse from the, from the beginning, and it's got worse. It's got even worse since then. So, what's next for Brandon, in my opinion? Honestly, I think it's going to seem like it's going to get worse again, but I think somehow, some way, he's going to keep fighting and pull through this. I think he's gonna pull pull through this negativity and get through it. He ain't no he don't just give up. He's gonna push forward to it. He just gotta get his mind back straight. Um and he has to settle this thing with Reg. Once he handles Reg, I think he'd be cool. Um but, but uh, between him and Jerrica, man, I don't know where that relationship is going at all. Because honestly, if I was in Brandon's shoes and I knew my girl told her friends about me having a strap. And me possibly killing somebody and she told her friends, it's over. I'm sorry. It's over. I can't deal with her no more. I can't trust her because if some shit go down, she going to spill the beans. 
I can't trust her. That's just me. She got to go. I don't care how pretty she is. She's done for. I can't have nobody like that that's going to rat. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you don't even know the, you don't even know all the facts and you sit up here and told your girls because you was mad at me? Hell nah, you got to go. I'm sorry. That's just me though. But you guys let me know, man, what you think of your boy Brandon? What you think is next for him since all this Ronnie shit done happened and all this shit with Kevin and Reg and all that? Let me know in the comments. Um, I will be bringing you more of the shy content this week. I will be talking about what's next for Kevin. Also, I will be talking about Jerrica. And I'm going to talk about what's next for Jada. Because she got into some mess too. But I will be bringing those videos to you this week. So check them out. But I'm going to get on out of here, man. Keep supporting your boy. It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> Super Bowl goals. I'm at the crib of Puff. He got Kaepernick on the phone. He in a whole different mode. Angel head 2 a.m. for being whole. Just to show him how I treat the city like my humble abode. Hey, tell me if TD Bank is a